This is Keith G. Saturn for Rockabilly Hop with Today in Rock and Roll History. On this day, April 10th, 1921, Sheb Woolley was born Shelby Frederick Woolley in Eric, Oklahoma. He's best known for his 1958 U.S. number 1 and U.K. number 12 single, The One-Eyed, One-Horned, Flying Purple People Eater, a novelty song about a creature from outer space. The song features a catchy tune and a playful chorus that goes, It was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people heater. A friend's child told Cheb Woolley a joke that inspired him to knock out the song in just an hour. The purple people eater's voice and the toy saxophone solo were recorded at a slower speed and then sped up to create the effect heard on the record. Apart from his music career, Sheb Woolley was a prolific actor who appeared in over 60 movies and TV shows. He played supporting roles in several Western movies and TV series, including High Noon in 1952 and The Outlaw Josie Wales in 1976. However, he's best known for playing Pete Nolan in the TV series Rawhide from 1959 to 1966, which starred Clint Eastwood in a lead role. In addition to The Purple People Eater, Sheb Woolley had a successful music career, releasing several albums and singles over the years. He also wrote songs for other artists, including the hit song That's My Pa for Conway Twitty. But Sheb Woolley had another side to him, an alter ego named Ben Colder. Ben Colder was actually a stage name that Sheb Woolley used for his comedy and novelty recordings. He adopted the name in the 1960s and continued to use it for the rest of his career. Some of his most popular comedy recordings under the name Ben Colder include Don't Go Near the Eskimos and Hello Walls No. 2. The Purple People Eater became an international hit and was translated into many languages. For example, in German, recorded by German singer Gus Bacchus in 1958, in French the song was translated and recorded by French singer Henry Salvador in 1959, And in Portuguese, the song was translated and sung by Brazilian singer Reginaldo Rossi in 1966. The success of the song led to a movie adaptation called The Purple People Eater, which was released in 1988. The song has been covered by several artists, including Alvin and the Chipmunks and Judy Garland, as well as a few sequels, such as The Purple People Eater Meets the Witch Doctor by The Big Bopper, which was released the same year as Sheb Woolley's original recording, and The Purple People Eater No. 2 by Ben Colder in 1967. The Purple People Eater No. 2 was essentially the same song performed as an on-the-scene investigative reporter interview. The Purple People Eater has also been featured in numerous movies, TV shows, and commercials. Sheb Woolley was a multi-talented artist who made a significant impact in both the music and film industries. His iconic song, The Purple People Eater, his memorable performances in Western movies and TV series, and his comedic alter ego, Ben Colder, continue to entertain audiences to this day. Unfortunately, Sheb Woolley passed away on September 16, 2003, in Nashville, Tennessee, at the age of 82. However, His legacy lives on through his music, movies, and TV shows, and he will always be remembered as a true American icon. For more rock and roll history, like, share, follow, comment, and subscribe.